Every year I'm amazed by the incredibly talented group of people who we get an opportunity to interview for positions here in our fellowship program in hematology and oncology. They come from a wide variety of backgrounds, have a wide variety of interests. What we provide them is a very robust clinical training that prepares them for any situation where they'll be caring for patients in the course of their work, but also give them a very strong research base. When they leave here, they're prepared for anything. One of the things I love about Johns Hopkins and the reason I thrive here is the freedom afforded to be by my mentors and not being limited by what's been done before. When I came for the interview, I was really blown away by the different opportunities that were available to explore different rotations uh, in benign hematology and to work with leaders in the field. I chose to come to Johns Hopkins because I found this was the most welcoming uh, institution for my research interests. Um, and that is in medical imaging to better treat uh, and care for cancer patients. I chose to come to Johns Hopkins because it was a unique opportunity to have both a great clinical experience and a great research experience. I think our fellowship is excellent at focusing on the tripartite mission of patient care, education, and cutting edge research that really is unique to Johns Hopkins and really, I think, draws our fellows in and makes them want to stay forever. I think the strength of the program here is really taking an individual approach to each person who's in the fellowship and giving them the resources they need to reach their goals and to succeed. The fellowship gives you a tremendous amount of autonomy in addition to supporting you with multiple mentors. Uh, very early on in the fellowship, we become the primary oncologist for our patients. One of the major strengths of the Johns Hopkins Fellowship Program is that we have a specific hematology track to allow individuals who are interested in non-malignant hematology in particular to be able to take advantage of our very rich resources that we have here in non-malignant hematology. One of which is sickle cell disease, which helps us take care of our underserved population here in Baltimore. I'm here for benign hematology training, but really going into the hematology track, you can differentiate into many different paths, including becoming a leukemia doctor, a lymphoma doctor, a myeloma doctor. It's really a comprehensive training program. The collaboration between Hopkins and the NIH offers another complementary exposure because here at Johns Hopkins, of course, we're a quaternary referral center where we're able to see all sorts of the foundational typical cases of pediatric hematology and oncology that you would expect in a large mid-Atlantic city. And then that is complemented by the training that our fellows receive at the NIH, which is really early phase clinical trials, first in human exposures, and to be able to see the cutting edge research and clinical trials that are being done in the country, really starting from day one as a fellow. I have a very diverse mentorship team, extending into the Bloomberg School of Public Health and the Armstrong Institute of Patient Safety. These collaborations, even outside the cancer center, let me pursue the research that I want to do. So I came to Hopkins a little bit unsure about what I wanted my clinical and research focus to be. The program was very supportive with giving us a variety of options and allowing us to meet with many mentors. I was able to pick a mentor who also gave me some independence in picking a project. So there was a lot of flexibility in finding a clinical and research focus. The program additionally gave me the flexibility to pursue a PhD over with the School of Medicine to complement what I was doing in the lab. So overall, the program has been very supportive of, of fellows choosing their clinical and research path. Our fellows, I think, find Baltimore really exciting because it's small enough that they can see each other and do exciting activities along the harbor or in Patterson Park. And then there's also the bigger city opportunities of the various cultural events here. And they also have access to DC um, in their free time, both together and with, with their families. I've loved working with my co-fellows here. They're really an excellent group of people, um, from the game nights to providing moral support when you've been on pager at night. I mean, I really couldn't have asked for a better group of people to go through this program with. So I'd say the greatest aspect of being a medical oncology fellow here is the fellowship family. Uh, when I came to Baltimore to join Johns Hopkins, my husband was simultaneously being deployed to Afghanistan. 
And uh, the fellowship really came together around me throughout that time, and I felt tremendously supported. I could not have done it without them. It's a tough training program, uh, but you learn a tremendous amount and forge what I anticipate will be lifelong relationships. When I think about my, my ideal career path, you know, I, I love caring for patients, but I'm really driven by moving that patient care forward through research. It's been a truly amazing journey to grow myself as a physician and a person and to go on this incredible journey 